In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for the month of September. Uh, we, we have a little bit, but we don't have as, as many as we've had in the past. We do have two dislikes, so we always like to get those out of the way. Uh, if I'll say this every month, if it made it to this video, it was either really, really good or it was really, really bad. And um, these help people to know which videos, if you miss some videos, you might want to go back and these might be ones that you're curious about. These uh, these were the Brock's Tailgate Candy Corns. They had fruit punch, vanilla ice cream, which were fine, mm -hmm. uh, hot dog, hamburger, and popcorn. The most disgusting one in here was the hot dog. This and um, it tasted like dog food. Yeah, it was awful. It tastes like a bean boozled dog food. Mm -hmm. It was really, really, really bad. And for me, I would never buy this again. No. Why in the world would you buy something that tastes like that, even though you do have a good one, like the vanilla ice cream? If I have to work around all the bad ones, then it's it it's not worth me spending my money at right. all. It's a waste of money. It's a waste it's of money. It's not a good snack to serve for your football people over. No. Uh, it's just a, it's a goofy punk you kind of yeah. fool, fool you, I got some crappy snacks. <laughs> yeah, this is a good way to trick your friends, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so. um, I think this is, um, they're focused on a certain age group when they do yeah. this, and it's not uh, not for me, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't enjoy that. No, it wasn't any good. These are all the same brand. Um, nobody. They're all equally bad. Nobody. Well, no, well, one was honestly worse than the, all, the but blondie, none of them were good. The blondies uh, were the absolute worst. Anything um, with vanilla in it. Yeah, the uh, cookies and cream blondie or the birthday cake blondie. Um, I did not even. I tried one bite, and then Kevin was. She the, made me eat the rest. Of it. <laughs> uh, that would, if you missed that video, you probably want to watch it. If you're not one of these people that normally would watch a, a video on a protein brownie, that would be one to watch because I truly, with all my heart, don't know how this she company. She couldn't force herself to take another bite. That's how bad it was. I don't know how this company is still in business. I, I do not understand it. But we have a theory. We don't know if it's true or not, but we've tried a different brownie like that that tasted just as bad, what, probably six months, a year ago? Uh, yeah. Or probably. And it was just as bad. We wonder if they didn't change their name and now they're doing these. Yeah, I'm thinking that it's the same it's company awful. with a new name. And they, it may not be. They need if to give it, it up. If it isn't, they shared recipes because it was equally disgusting yeah, either way. Yeah, really, really bad. <laughs> bad. Um, okay, so that's all the bad stuff. Now now we're on to good stuff. Only good really stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, so, we're going to go over. Maria sent us some stuff from Germany. And uh, this was uh, from Maria. Uh, these are, I said, uh, the Let's Popcorn tasted like Lotus Biscoff cookie it's cutting. very, very good. I left myself a note on the back because uh, anytime it's in another uh, language, I have to do that. So I remind myself of what it was. I would have remembered this, though, without the note mm -hmm. because we ended up, doing a recipe video and I tried to make my own. Um, it did not turn out as good as their version. I mean, it was still delicious. It's still very, very good. But it didn't come out like as powdery. Right. Because yeah, theirs was like crumbly almost. Yeah, but this is, this is awesome stuff. Yeah. If you can get this, it's awesome. Um, and Maria has already told me that she is sending us more from this brand. She said the flavors aren't as like um, jazzy as right. this, but, um, it's still good. I mean, this, this, the texture alone was good. Yes. Uh, these are, I wrote down, uh, taste like ham, very, a uh, meaty flavor. These are a uh, roasted and smoked almonds. Uh, but yeah, they did. They taste like ham. Taste like ham. And they had that ham flavor in an almond. Of course, you all probably can't get them. They were from Germany, but they were awesome. Now, you might be able to get these. These are the Mamba uh, Fruit Surfer. They had strawberry, orange, raspberry, and lemon. And these are awesome. Really Anytime good. you can get the Mamba snacks, they all have a very strong, delicious flavor. Very, very sweet. Uh, just very nice to snack on. 
Um, and then lastly from Maria, we have the Haribo, and these were the Sour Zoo. So, Maria always sends us uh, more and more Haribos that... I know where she finds them. I know, that we have not tried, and she somehow keeps track of these. And these were... Uh, these had a terrific texture, flavor, everything. We so, tried a bunch from her, and, and a lot of them were good, but that was the best. Yeah, we always there's always that one bag that stands out in the group yeah. uh, as being the best, and this was it mm -hmm. this time. So, do you want to show one? something? Uh, we're, I'm going to do this Borson uh, cheese, believe it or not. This is the garlic and fine herb um, cheese. It's a cheese spread. So we used it, we've used it in a recipe, but we stuffed chicken with, which yeah. was excellent. Um, you could also use it for just putting it on top of a steak. You could put it on a cracker and eat it with just a Ritz cracker because you wouldn't want anything else. Um, of course, why would you want a saltine when you can have a Ritz? Um, it was just really good. We were really impressed with them. And we tried a bunch of their flavors of cheese. Mm -hmm. And this was still one of our favorite ones, wasn't it? Although yes. there was another one that seemed like a, uh, it was really good too. And then we also did a review of the Alouette the Borson ended up being our favorite. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be the one that we would go to very, all very the good. time. And the texture yeah. was really good too. Mm -hmm. It was just a, it was a, just a really good cheese bread, which you wouldn't think, you know, cheese bread, but that was just excellent. Yeah, that's just something we aren't used to buying. Yeah. But now that we know, we'll we'll mm -hmm. definitely be buying it again. Uh, then I have a couple things that Dr. J sent us from the UK. Uh, these toffee fee, and it, it, I said it, I think during the video, it was funny because. Uh, when M Maria in Germany saw that Dr. J had sent us these, she was like, oh, I can cross that off my list and quit looking for them because she had been looking for them in Germany. They're made in Germany. Couldn't find them, and Dr. J got them uh, in the UK. So these are the uh, white chocolate. They are awesome. They're like good. five out of five. All of those candies are good. Uh, they all have a really good texture to them. If you've never had one, you should try one out, just any of them. They're uh, terrific. But that was like the really good one. Yes. I had eaten like three of them before I could put them the put them back in the box. Yeah. That's how good. and they're so small. The flavors are good and the textures are good. So. They're like a they're they're like if you had taken like a lint lindor and you half it yeah. and you're getting like half that ball. That's about the size. That's the size of them and so they're so easy to eat. And then he also sent us uh, these foxes. This was the uh, British pudding collection. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful. Yeah, they were I've, terrific. I've eaten a couple of those the past couple of days. Yeah. Just suck on them at night. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're just absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, really enjoyed those. And you wouldn't think of something like uh, like a mint. It's a hard candy. A hard candy. A hard candy is what it is. But you wouldn't think of something like that making the favorites. But it did. They're, yeah, they're they were all really, really nice. Um, I have a Marie Calendars. Let me see what best way to hold this up. There you go. Uh, these are the banana, the, uh, the mini banana pies, and um, you can see I've just flattened the box out. But there are two pies in the box, and they're they're what about the big around probably, mm -hmm. and uh, they're just excellent. They had an excellent, excellent banana flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just really, really good, and it seemed like they were tasted more of a natural banana too. They were. They were natural banana, not candy banana, mm -hmm. and that's why. Uh, I was impressed with them yep. because a lot of things have a, a candy banana, which I like too, but for something like this, I'd, I'd rather it be natural. Yeah, and, and the textures are really good too. It's good mm -hmm. that good cream pie. The flavor. bad thing is we bought those and we, uh, they make other flavors, mm -hmm. but we bought this and we bought like maybe this and maybe a key lime or something like that at the same time. We, I haven't seen those available mm -hmm. in no, the, like, the minis. Yeah, we found them and then we haven't found any since. Yeah, so. it's like they sold out of them because everybody knows they're so good and now they haven't gotten them back. Yeah. Um, and, and pots and stuff are, it's in our stores at least locally, there, there's not a lot of the frozen pies around. I mean, there's some, but then you don't see you the, like, the, the selection. Full size. Yeah, and even you the full size, the... you don't see the selection that we did have. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It's with just that, shipping but... and supply. Yeah. <laughs> Um, these were sent to us from Jarjoy, and uh, they deserve the shout out mm -hmm. because that we had reviewed some uh, the chocolate tuxedo and the s'mores. We had reviewed those um, previously, and they might have even made the hate list they might have. one month. They might yeah, have because they, they were pretty bad. They were pretty bad. the The recipe was not good. 
and they watched that video yeah. and they reformulated their uh, uh the s'mores and the chocolate tuxedo whatever had the vanilla flavor in they reformulated it and they have put them back on the shelf mm -hmm. again and they said hey we want you to try these again which so they took a big risk mm -hmm. i think sending these us because we might have said oh those just are just as bad but we didn't. We loved them. Mm -hmm. So we did. And they didn't reform it because of us. A no. Bunch of, a bunch of people have said that they noticed a bad taste. In yes. I, no, I don't think they did it because. <laughs> they might have done it because. No, I don't think they did it because they watched a video of ours. But they realized, hey, there's a problem here. People are, there's something not quite right. So we did two videos. Uh, we did uh, like four like chocolate based flavors. And then we did like, uh, this was the strawberry shortcake and we did a key lime and there was a sugar cookie. But anyway, they have a bunch of flavors available. And these were like the best of the best. The strawberry shortcake and the chocolate tuxedo. There was also a raspberry, mm -hmm. but they have some great flavors. And I really hope you all if you've tried them in the past and you didn't care for them, please try them again because we would not tell you that we liked them even though they sent them. We would be completely honest with you and I, I really hope if you've tried them in the past and you didn't like them, you'll try them again because yeah, they deserve they were it. They very, very good. Yeah. And the strawberry was probably my favorite. Oh. It's so delicious. Yeah, it very, very fresh good. strawberry flavor. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and do these four. I knew you would. That's why I put them all over on your side because <laughs> Kevin likes to do... Groups. All of them groups. Um, this is the Van Lee one. Um, I have the pumpkin cinnamon roll and the sweet potato marshmallow casserole. And this is the honeycomb and the wild berry layer cake. Excellent. Just overall, all of them are excellent. Not all this brand is good. Some of them are kind of odd. They, I mean, they've got great They had some weird and, flavors. And stuff like that. But these were excellent. These were excellent. Yes, they were. And I know we're not saying the name right. Somebody actually told me how to pronounce what, the, the name. Van one? And I said, you know what? I Leo said, one. it's some, it, it's, it's, if you've heard it pronounced, if you've like seen an ad or something, I guess you would know how to pronounce it. Or if you're from the area where they're made, I guess you would know how to pronounce it. We've never heard of it. Hmm, and we're just so, reading it online. Exactly. And so I know we're saying it wrong. And that person, I told them, I said, you can tell me how to say it. But since it's not common to me, by the time I have to say it again, I'm not going to remember it. Maybe it's Lewin. It's. It, I, I, I have no, no, no clue. clue. No, no clue. But these were really good flavors. So I'm going to say the same thing I said for the Jar Joy. If you tried those really weird flavors, macaroni like and the macaroni and cheese or the Grey Poupon, and you're like, I am writing that brand off because those are weird, you need to try these because these actually really taste mm. good. The and regular even, ice creams are good. Even if you're scared of that one that says sweet potato, please don't be scared of it because it very does sweet. not taste anything like sweet potato it's very sweet you would never know yeah you would never know okay now i have these are called teo's bakes toasted coconut and vanilla bean and caramel pecan and cranberries these are bars that um we bought at um bucky's and uh probably because they're made in texas uh, but they, uh, they were really, really, uh, no, they're not made in Texas. They're made in New Mexico. That's right. I knew it was someplace close. They're made in New Mexico. We had never seen them before. We went to Bucky's, both excellent bars, just something that, that, uh, we had never seen before. Mm -hmm. But if you see that name, absolutely worth getting. Those were our favorite out of the four. Uh, speaking of Bucky's, I have the pretzel sticks. These are the garlic Parmesan pretzels. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're very, very garlicky. I mean, garlic, garlic. Like garlic bread, garlicky. Uh, yeah, garlic bread, garlicky. I mean, very, very good. good. And speaking of Bucky's, <laughs> uh, these are the Cosmic Pops Cotton Candy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. They taste like cotton candy and they're very easy to eat. Those are like the Pop Rocks, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah. and you're going to want to eat the entire bag. They're coated, so they're very different than anything. Almost like a yogurt coating on uh -huh. them. Yeah. yeah, but they don't taste like... No, it. they don't. They just have the same texture. Like yes, but they, coat. yeah, they taste... They had like four different flavors. These were... The cotton candy was the Amazing, best. yes, and they're very cheap, very affordable. If you haven't, if you've seen them, haven't tried them, you need to try those from Bucky's. 
Um, I have three. Okay, these are the Simple Truth plant-based. Simple Truth is like a Kroger brand. Plant-based oatmeal raisin cookie dough. I was absolutely shocked by how much I love these. They're very good. Um, so good. Um, like, I would pick these oatmeal raisin cookies over other... I mean, just because they're plant-based, that makes no difference to me. If it's good, um, it's good. I mean, and these, oats, oats are a plant. So. Yeah, these, these are really, <laughs> I'm okay with that. really good. But I think a lot of people would probably go in there and they'd be like, oh, I'm not going to try those. It's because plant -based. It's plant-based. You don't have to be plant-based to enjoy plant-based yeah. food. Especially cookies, because all they're using, instead of using like, um, you know, lard or, or some kind of fatty kind of thing, they're just using all plant-based oils and stuff. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah, it's no big deal at all. And Lots of plant-based stuff is good. are delicious. Well, if you Even like... Even plant-based, some of the plant-based meat's pretty good. If so. you like Oreos, you're eating plant-based. They're vegan. Oreos are vegan. So, yeah. you know, some people don't know that. Oreos are vegan. Uh, these, uh, while we're on a Kroger kick, these are the Private Selection Belgian Almond Thins Biscuits. A lot okay. of people, when we did this video, wanted to know how these compare to the Windmill Cookies by Archway. Yeah. Um, these are better. Yeah. I like these better. Um, I think these, uh, as far as, I think these are, uh, they're thinner, crisper. I, I like the flavor of these better. Mm -hmm. I just think they're all around buttery, better, delicious cookies. So, absolutely, if you have a Kroger or Ralph's, look for those. Ice creams. I love the ice creams. Um, this one is the, um, Trader Joe's, right? No. No. Uh, Aldi. No. Yeah. 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it doesn't have a name on it. There's no name any wrong there. So I was, remember we tried it, but it's 7-Eleven. Yes, it's 7-Eleven. Okay. We no, no. bought it at Speedway, yeah. but it's 7-Eleven, 7 Select. They own Speedways now. Yes, it does not have a name it on the lid. It wrong just wrong. tells you the name of the ice cream. It's been at a cream pie. It's been at a cream But I can pie. tell you, yes. if you look at this lid, you would think Trader Joe's. You because said the that. picture yeah. is very like it looks like Trader Joe's pictures and stuff. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you got a 7-Eleven in your area or a Speedway that's been bought by 7-Eleven, try this out. It's excellent. And yeah. only some of them, the 7-Eleven, at least only some of the Speedways around here actually have ice the freezers cream. that sell ice creams. They don't sell popsicles, but they don't sell ice creams. Uh, this, uh, Kevin, the only reason I'm saying this is because Kevin mentioned Trader Joe's. We tried the Trader Joe's banana pudding. This is better. Oh, this is what you want to buy. The, tr the, the, the it's just better. I'm, I won't even comment. This is better. Mm -hmm. You need to get this one. So if you have been sleeping on the 7-Eleven ice creams, please wake up. <laughs> buy them. Buy any of them. Just go and pick out whichever flavor looks like it's going to be your favorite because it probably will be. They're really, really generous with their mix-ins, yeah, aren't they? they? Are. They're very, very good. And, and don't skip. Um, it seems like I like the Trader Joe's better than you did. You probably did. It it had it. It tasted like candy banana. And that's why I liked it because I didn't mind it at all. It's not that I minded it. It, it just wasn't as good. It wasn't as good. Yeah. I think between the two, if you could buy either one, and and I bet you, and, well, I could be wrong. I, I was gonna say I bet you this the 7 is cheaper, but not necessarily. not necessarily. They might be about the same price, but I like them both, but I like the 7 -11. See, I like the candy, like if I go to, if I want a banana milkshake, uh -huh. I go to Riley's and get it because it's that candy, Laffy Taffy banana flavor, ah, fake as can be. Yeah. Go to Dairy Queen, the, they throw bananas in the milk and ice cream and blend it up. It's like, I don't want banana, I want candy. Right. I don't blame you for that, but... Rally's has the best banana milkshake. Between these two ice creams, I personally... I, I like that one better, too, because it had a lot of mix-ins and stuff. In yeah. All right, so I'm going to do the, the my second to last one. These are the Hers Pepper Jack potato... They're potato no, they're cheese puffs. They're That's cheese right. puffs. Um, these were awesome. They, they had spice to them. They had a good cheese mm -hmm. flavor, a good texture. There was not one thing bad about these at all, except you have to eat a lot of them to, to before you feel like you you're done because you, yeah. you get sick and then you have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you notice the tag, there's a red tag on the front, is Ollie's. Yeah. So Ollie's. Uh, for some reason, we don't get a lot of Hearst products in like the regular grocery mm -hmm. stores. But yeah, just we, the basic stuff. But if we go in like a place like Big Lots or Aldi's, uh, Aldi's, Ollie's, Ollie's, uh, then they do have a lot of Hearst. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do tend to go, get a lot there. That's where, yeah. we, that's where we found all the... Uh, the barbecue ones, the, the, mm -hmm. and the oh, yeah. 
all the different flavors of barbecue that they had. Like the stubs? Special. Is it yeah, stubs? Yeah, that's it. it. Oh, and they're so and they had all delicious. Of them. They don't sell them in the regular stores, though. No, but they're wonderful. Yeah, do yours. Okay, just... my last one is a good and gather. This is Target. Um, this was definitely my favorite, not kettle. They were okay. These are limited edition kettle cooked stuffing flavored and herb potato chips. I love them. To me, these, if you want to get the, if you want to kick off the Thanksgiving season early, buy a bag of these because they do remind you. Now, I make dressing. I don't make stuffing. It's, it's two different things. We don't put it in the bird. We don't put it in the bird. We put it in, in a, a pan. pan. <laughs> it's actually dressing. But this starts the season off. This will make you get in the mood for all the Thanksgiving stuff. It has all the seasonings that, I you, love that them. you crave. I thought they were delicious. They were okay. So. I thought some of the spices were a little strong for me, but they were, it was still good. Okay, last one is a Screaming Sicilian Bacon Roni pizza. And it was probably one of the best Screaming Sicilians we've had in a while. In a long time, um, yeah. It had a really good amount of bacon on it. The pepperoni mm -hmm. was good. The cheese was good. The sauce was good. Um, they've made it, since the last time I remember, at least Ham says it's been that way for a while. But I don't remember the crust being as thin as it was. It and has been that thin for yeah, a while. I they just, changed it a I just don't back. remember because it's we, we haven't had them regularly for a while. Uh, but yeah, they used to be a little thicker, like a hand toss. This is almost like a thin crust. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. They, I, I don't know why, but I know for a while they've been thinner. Yeah. Um, the big porker. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, uh, we both really enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. And when we buy one of these, we just half it. Kevin will eat three pieces and I'll eat three yeah. pieces. And it's absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. So that would be one that I would get again and again. So now, um, <clears throat> Kevin has a channel, another channel called Lunchtime Review. I talk about this every month. He reviews shelf-stable foods and frozen foods four days a week, and then one day a week he goes out to eat somewhere. Mm -hmm. So this is a, his chance to tell you his likes and dislikes on that channel. I only have one. Um, was it a like or a dislike? I liked it. Okay. Um, I didn't really have any that I really just like, ugh, that was awful. Um, cause, and I usually don't. Most meals, I know some people say, yeah, it's always, and there's another three. Because uh, it's a three out of five, and I um, I always give a three to like this the average meal. Think about it, if you eat stuff on a regular basis, how often do you hit a meal that's like, wow, that's awesome? Most of the time, it's like that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a pretty good meal. That's enjoyable. Think that's of all the things we tried for the month. I put out like four videos a day. And this is all you've got in this favorites yeah. video. So these are five out of fives for me. All those other things were probably threes. They were pretty good, yeah. but they weren't fives. So, so for people that think that, it's like, do you? If you're eating stuff that's awesome all the time, well, great. I'm glad you are, because I don't. Um, so anyway, that's just answering one of the comments I get sometimes. These are the Rayburns Rise and Shine. This one is the maple biscuits with sausage, egg, and cheddar cheese sandwiches. Um, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5, so it was really good. Um, I think I gave some other things like a 4. I may even give it a couple of 4.5s, but so this is like the best one. Um, it was just really good. It had a really good maple flavor. The maple wasn't really chemical or overpowering. It was just a really nice mix. Um, the sausage was a nice flavor. I complain about all these sausage biscuit um, or sausage sandwiches, period. The sausage by itself is not, I mean, even when you're eating it in the sandwich, it doesn't taste very strong. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you eat it by itself, it's really good. But it, but this one actually mixed really well. It was a pretty good flavor balance. So it's really good. And the cheese didn't turn to water, which is always a plus. <laughs> yeah. Because some of these, you, you microwave and the cheese all runs off of it. You look at it, it's like, where's the cheese? It's gone. This one actually stayed firm. And some people always say, I take the cheese off of mine before I microwave it. That's fine if that's what the directions tell you yeah, to I do. I always follow the directions. Kevin follows the directions. That's the thing about these videos. Yes, once you've tried it, then you can say, okay, next time I'll leave the cheese off. Mm -hmm. But when he's doing a review, he's do following exactly what they tell him to do. Unless I misread something. And that happens occasionally. Yeah, that happens occasionally too. Uh, but, but but just like microwave pizzas, if it's got baking directions and microwave directions, of course it's going to be better in the oven. And I'll, I usually will say that in the video. Yes. This is probably better in the oven. But if, So if you watch the video, I comment on that all the time. But of course it's going to be better in the oven. But we don't have no stinking ovens at work. 
But if they give microwave directions, that's right. that means then that's it out. their fault. That's yeah. their fault. Yeah, because I don't buy them if they don't have microwave. Yeah, if it, if it wasn't going to be good in the microwave, then they shouldn't have put microwave directions right. on it. So for me, I blame that on them if yeah. it's not as good as if it is. If it's not good oven. in the microwave, don't put the directions then don't there. put the directions I won't on buy there. Them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, like I said, he goes out to eat. Uh, one time a week, those videos post on Thursday, and I always like to know, is there anything at the end of the month where like you would never get it again, or what was your favorite thing? So he ate the Fazoli's Philly cheesesteak ravioli. Mm -hmm. He ate Popeye's hush puppy shrimp. Spicy by the way, just in case you didn't know. Um, that's not in the name of it. I know, but they're spicy. I said it in the video, it um, surprised me. Sonic drive-in chop house cheeseburger but you also had the churros and the churro shake mm -hmm. uh papa john's pizza italian meats trio papa bowls which mm -hmm. somebody commented they shouldn't call it a bowl if they put it in a tray <laughs> and that, that's a fair point they it wasn't a round bowl it literally wasn't a tray i yeah. thought that was a funny comment and then uh lastly you had the kfc f famous bowl and the mac and cheese bowl i never tried any of the bowls at kfc so i want to try them both um you know what? Truly, I liked everything that I tried this month. I really did. There wasn't anything bad. Um, the hush pub, the hush puppy shrimp really did surprise me because they were spicy. They were good, but they from were, Popeyes. Yeah, from Popeyes. They were. They had some spice to it, almost like it was jalapeno hush puppies. Mm -hmm. So remember, we used to get the jalapeno hush puppies at uh, Charlie's. Yes, they were so good. So good. Um, Love jalapeno. But they puppies. they were hot. These are hot. So just know that if you go get them. Um, the fasoli was really, really good. Tons of steak in there. The flavors were excellent for what it was. So, I mean, you know, the ravioli itself was just cheese ravioli, but they had steak mixed in. Mm. Um, the Sonic, if everything at Sonic was that good, I would keep going to Sonic. Unfortunately for ours, most of it's not. Uh, so. Just so you know, I got to try the churros too. And the shake. They were awesome. The churros were the best thing in there. The churros were wonderful. Um, I, when I ate it, I did not. I tried it with the dip because they give you a. Like it a was, it's cheese. actually a Cinnabon. Yeah. It's actually Cinnabon right. of like frosting mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. I tried it with that, but I liked it better, it was better than just by the churro yeah. because it, it doesn't uh, take over any of the flavor when you have it just by itself. And I agree with Kevin's view about the shake, the churro shake. That's strong enough. It wasn't, no, especially after you've eaten the churros. There's nothing that compares to the churro. No, you I should have, have to try I should have taken all the powder that was in the bag of the churros and dumped it into the milkshake. <laughs> I should have. That's there was a lot genius. of cinnamon and sugar in there. Oh, we should have done So eat your churros out. first and then dump all that extra into your shake. Maybe it'll be better. We should have done that. Uh, but that was really good. I love the cheeseburger. The cheeseburger was really good. It had a really good flavor to it. It was very fresh. It actually filled me up, which I got one burger one time. I swear it was like a kid's burger. Do you remember that? Maybe it was. And, and I looked at it and I was like, really? <laughs> Maybe it was a junior. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe it was. was. Uh, the Popeye's, the, the Papa, not Popeye's, the Papa John's pizza thing was really, really good. I enjoyed it too. Everything was hot. The vegetables were, were mostly cooked. Remember we tried it at La Rosa's and they were cold. Like the vegetables were yeah, like you out of the refrigerator. I didn't try it, but he tried it. And, it was, tried and it was watery. I did not like it at all. Yeah. But so La Papa Rosa's John's, though, La Rosa's isn't some place that I um, care to go again. Um, so anyway, the pop, the Papa John's pizza bowls were really good. The KFC bowls, both of them were really good. I, my favorite was the, the famous bowl because I like mashed potatoes, gravy, and corn. That's like perfect for me. Uh, mac and cheese was really good too. So. If you're not into the mixing your foods, you probably would hate them. But but for Kevin me, came home and he said you would have hated the famous bowl because yeah. I first of all I don't mix my food, and second of all I do not like mashed potatoes. So he's like you would not have liked that. You might have liked the mac and cheese bowl because it was a bowl of macaroni and cheese and it had some popcorn chicken sprinkled on top. Probably not. It was it was like crunchy. I would I would rather have them separate. It was like macaroni and cheese with like a crispy topping. Yeah. It was good. I it was know. it was very very good. So yeah, like I said, I really didn't have anything I disliked this whole month. Well, that's good. I'm I glad. Can't, I would be really hard pressed to pick a favorite though. Oh, to pick a like like if you were gonna go someplace right now to and eat, and I had to pick one of these five. Ooh, that'd be hard. Churros. Yeah. That's a dessert. <laughs> the the chop house cheeseburger and the churros were, were very very good. I probably wouldn't pick the hush puppy shrimp because I don't. I, there wasn't a lot there. Uh, the Philly cheesesteak was awesome. Well, I, um, as someone who didn't eat any of it, I would just pick the Papa John's because it sounds the safest to me. Um, <laughs> it would probably be between the Sonic and the Papa John's for me. 
That that would be one of those two, but it, it would really be ultimately what I was in the mood for, pizza or burger. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had some really good meals. This month was a good month. Yeah, that's some awesome. Some months aren't so good, but this month was a good month. Right. So that's it for our September. Thank you very, very much uh, to JarJoy for sending the jars. I doubt they're watching this, but we do appreciate it. To Maria, to Dr. J, thank you very, very much. Anybody that sends us anything, we, we never expect you to. You absolutely don't have to send one thing. I just appreciate, Kevin appreciates you watching the videos. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to us that you do that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and thanks for watching.